When a woman get together, what you think about, you're all emotional. So you're tiptoeing all the time. And you're looking at the sensitivity levels in this woman and that woman because you know that you are sensitive. My low functioning self attracted low functioning men. Hold on. You know. I don't know. You spend some money, we can have a good time. I don't pay to play. Although society is declining in marriages over the past couple of decades, in the year 2024, the median age for marriage is 31. Men are choosing their career and education versus marriage. And in this video, you're going to find out exactly why. I don't want to hold you. Go ahead and hit that like button. Definitely share the video. If this is your first time watching, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to it. But you're speaking from Even your experience, which makes it better. I'm saying. Because your experience of these women is that they fall short for a jet and a good meal and a good man who says he goes and to church. Strong a high, and strong hands. And, 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 and let me go further. And probably a big, but let's, okay. You said it, not so me. let me go. But, a high, <laughs> but again, a high functioning, I'm not even talking about value, a high functioning woman who's yeah, done the work. This. Who's explain done this. the work. I'm trying to hear what this that, high functioning that does woman not, is. But a high functioning woman, you cannot send a jet and be toxic. And she will go on the She don't know I'm toxic yet. A high functioning woman wouldn't even attract you, baby, because it's law of attraction. Stick with me. Just stick Who, with me. Please explain Nick, this. Nick, high regulate your emotions. Stick with me. Regulate I'm your with you. emotions. I'm and stick trying with to me. hear you. Hypergamy is the number one true nature of a woman. What does that mean? As long as that man can be a provider and take care of her, she's going to be more attracted to that than she is how he treats them. There's plenty of women in the past, especially during ancient times, where we're, women were just marrying men because they were kings, regardless of their personality. Listen. <laughs> What, what is law of attraction? Who we think we are. Absolutely. Think we are. Absolutely. Okay. So a high functioning woman uh -huh. is not going to attract by just by default, by her calibration. She's not attracting a man this who is, is, listen, not who is not perfect. The man has got all kinds of mess. So does she. So does she. But when it comes to the level of her calibration and functioning and mental health and doing the work, she's going to attract that at which she is. That at what she leads with. So let me say this. Do I get on private jets that I pay for myself? Absolutely. Have I had a, a man do shit, a, a wonderful, beautiful shit. things for me? Absolutely. Have I had rocks and this and caught off weddings? Of course. But let me say this. Prior to me doing the work and being a high functioning woman, I attracted low functioning men. Women are going to naturally attract high and low functioning men because guys are always chasing their desires. But majority of the time, good women start off with the bad guy and then she learns what a good man is. But in modern day times, especially Western women, they're always attracted to the man who has the most and they don't even care if he has other women. Get in the comments to let me know if, I, if I'm wrong or right. Hold so on. you're saying you're because a high functioning woman finish. who attracted low functioning No, no, it's not women. what I said. I said prior to me doing the work and becoming a high functioning woman, my low functioning self attracted low functioning men. Hold on. That, you know why I attracted them? Because I needed low functioning to feed low functioning. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. A low functioning man cannot feed a high functioning woman and a low functioning woman can't feed a high functioning man. And so what I'm telling you is there is no equally yoke there. This is why men are online complaining because a lot of these women become baby mothers and then they want the high functioning guy to come in and take care of it. Let me know if I'm wrong or right in the comments. Enjoy humiliating men. I think it's fun. Yeah, so you derive pleasure by saying things on Twitter such as, hold up, I love hurting men. You derive pre pleasure from either saying or doing those things. Yeah, I think it's hot. No, but like, you said it's your thing, so you're deriving pleasure simply by virtue of saying that. Yeah, I get pleasure from it. I get pleasure from tweeting like that. I think it's fun. These are all signs that she's lonely and she's been hurt and she put these type of comments in the atmosphere. The problem with women is they can actually act and get revenge on men that have not did anything to them. I like it. There are certain things that are can just be deemed objectively wrong. So like hurting animals, would you agree that that's wrong? Yeah, that's what wrong. What if somebody derives sexual pleasure from hurting animals? Then that's f***ed up. How is this any different than because you saying you like hurting men? Because they're men and men, a lot of men like hurting women, so. I'm not sure I totally follow there. What was hard to follow? Well, your, so your justification is, well, men do bad things, so I can also do bad things to perhaps even innocent men because there's bad men out there who do bad things to conceivably innocent women. Women always have these evil spirits whenever they do not attract the man that they want. Most women want to be married and they want to have kids. 
But whenever they don't get the man that they want, then they turn around and hate all men. And that's typically when they start to use them. That is only dangerous because of men, which is true. Statistically, yeah. violence, men. That isn't true. Let's get to the root cause of things. Manipulation happens when you focus on the effects and you don't go to the cause. So the root of it is that without a man and you were just here, you would have been eaten by a lion, a tiger and bear. And guess what? If the lions and tigers and bears didn't get you, you wouldn't have the ability to gather enough calories for you to last. Because a woman can't manipulate the world how a man can. So let me explain to you how a world would operate with only women and only men. When men get together, we know, oh, he's stronger here. He has this skill here. He got this. Let the best person work this skill. And that creates a hierarchy from top down. When a woman get together, what you think Think about you're all emotional so you're tiptoeing all the time and you're looking at the sensitivity levels in this woman and that woman because you know that you are sensitive so what you do is you start looking at everything in the egalitarian sense to equalize everything you yeah. get two you get two you get two you get two the men don't operate like that did you do enough to get to if you ain't do enough you're not getting to you mm -hmm. get zero put in that work and then you get that mm -hmm. this is why on the survival series men they was cleaning water fast building fires fast because they created that hierarchy they put the best person in position first the women they was trying to do everything equal and by committee so they couldn't create any order and any structure the world wouldn't be safer without men nature more people than any wars and anything you can never imagine and men we built infrastructure to protect the woman from nature and he is absolutely right which is one one of the big reasons when women say they do not need men it's like what exactly do you do not need men for you do not plan on surviving you're up because you're not designed to be a hoe that's why and y'all were okay well let's go into biology here how many kids can you have per year one how many kids can you have per year how many kids can I, per year can you have I don't know, one how many oh the same how many kids can i have per year as many as you have there you go simple biology that's why we can we're, more, we're we don't have the same emotional tie to sex that you guys do because we're not the ones carrying the kids our investment is not as high as yours so since your investment is higher you have more standards that the man must check off but i mean don't you care about your offspring like don't you want to be with like a solid woman like for your children as well like doesn't that matter and i don't want to wife up a man that's what? like or a husband Wait, a man what? you know husband a man that what what that's a hoe really no really yeah what type of guys do you like then I like solid guys. Okay. I like G's. These women only claim that they want that type of guy whenever they're in debates, but the type of guy that they choose to have children with and be with be the complete opposite. Are you for real right now? For real right now? Are you for real right now? I was so lost, bro. Don't leave me, bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. This can't be real. This can't be my life. Bro. This absolutely cannot be my life right now. Please. Uh, please. Don't do this to I need you to. Uh, please. Stop making your arrangement. I have my arrangements. Please. You know, spit on my carpet. Bro, I didn't do nothing. Get in the comments and let me know. You think she's going to leave him or not? Star boy, don't play. 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 Remember, my money is my money, and your money is my money. What me say? My money is your money, and your money is your Make sure you understand. A Nigerian man has canceled his wedding after he saw his soon-to-be wife comment under a Facebook post saying that she would cheat on him for a million dollars. Yo, don't think we could have split this money anyway. You want his be smaller than yours? You can compromise here. I'm about to get married. If a billionaire comes and says, I will pay you a hundred million dollars if I can suck your fiance. One moment, you just added 99 million. I, I wouldn't do it for one million dollars. Girls, show us. I wouldn't but people be lying dollars. on these. This is why they say take no. the mics away from podcasts. Right, I wouldn't. <laughs> is this tax free? Is Even it? with taxes, you get 650,000. It's not a million. That's not a million. Not a million. No. Are y'all serious? Let my other for free. Are y'all my husband? This million is probably gonna help with this wedding. Go lay that down and bring that money back. What if my husband got a little? I don't want everybody knowing or I want her knowing. Now I'm embarrassed. My price to potentially be embarrassed is a million after taxes. How much money can they give you to allow your fiance to cheat? Get in the comments and let me know. My baby mother is coming to stay with us at the house. Your baby mama? Yeah. Coming to stay with who? Us. Me, you, and the kids. No, she's not. Why? She she ain't got nowhere what to go. What you mean, so. why? So why we can't just get get your child? Like why she gotta come too? Because she don't have nowhere to stay. Okay, so that's your problem. I didn't know that was your problem. I didn't
having no her her not having nowhere to live was a part of your problem. No, it's not my problem. I'm just looking out for her. What she can look ones? out for her own self. You could get your child. And your child can come, but not her. There's no if, ands, or buts. Like, no, you can. She can go somewhere else. Where's her family? At the time, she doesn't have any foreign family living in Atlanta. There, we're just holding her down for a few months until she get back on her feet. We, we're not doing anything, and neither are you. What you mean? But I would do it for you, for your baby daddy. Uh, okay. Well, w my baby daddy ain't in this situation, and I'm he just saying, obviously. I, I would do it for you, for you, for him. That's what I'm, I'm not. Saying. I'm because no. Why would I have your baby mama staying there with with us? Like, but they're coming Friday. So what, what are we gonna do? Kick them out? You finna tell her? No, you're gonna call her. You're gonna tell her that she can't come no more. How you gonna have a conversation with somebody and didn't even come to me and tell me about the conversation? But you telling me now when the girl coming Friday? Yeah, but what kind of conversation you want me to tell you? Like the house is both of us house. And well, I'm sorry, but we that means that we should have made that decision, not just you. What would you do in this situation if your baby mom and your child was on hard times and they needed a place to live? Would you let them move in with you? Or would you only want to take care of your kid? Let me know. Ladies, y'all want to know the secret to finding out if a man really like you. And no, it's not him taking you on an expensive date and spending a lot of money. No, it's not how much he calls. It's not even how much time he spends with you. Because sometimes they be bored and they just want a space filler, okay? The real test is if he comes into your life and tries to solve a problem for you. That man that likes me came by my house yesterday because we were going to do a little day date. And as I was walking out of the garage, he noticed that my garage light didn't illuminate. It didn't come on because the bulb been out who knows how long. It's never worked since I've had the house. And as soon as he seen it, he was like, your light don't work. I'm like, no, I ain't thinking nothing about it. He go over there, pop the little thing down, put a little bulb out. We're going to stop and get a light bulb because you need a light in your garage. That man is going to come into your house and he's going to start seeing stuff. Like, why is this smoke detector beeping? Let me get up here and fix it. See, y'all be thinking that it's the amount of money that they spend. Y'all think that these men like you because they want to have sex with you. That's why they always want to be around you. No, 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 no. A man who comes into your life and tries to solve a problem without being prompted. You didn't even have to say, hey, can you look at this light? No. A man who really like you, he's going to come in there and he's going to fix that thing. Could be anything. I'm trying to tell you. Men, if I'm telling the truth, let me hear it in the comments. Most guys that like a woman are trying to problem solve everything. But a lot of women, you push men away and say, no, I can handle this on my own. It just isn't about the light bulb. It's about everything else. A lot of stepdads are problem solving, but they end up getting the butt of the stick. If you have other ways to show that men like a woman, get in the comments and let me know. Man is going to look at that and say, you know what? I do need to pay her bills. Ladies, this is what you should ask yourself before you ask your man, that man, because he ain't yours yet. Ask yourself, what am I bringing to him to ease or make his life better? That's what value is. If you can't answer that question, you don't deserve anything yet. What has that man said in the way that you bring him value? If it's only let me take you to dinner, let me take you to eat, let me do. What, why does he want to keep serving you if there's no service back? It is the law of reciprocity. What can you do to support that man? And that is the problem with these modern day women. It is all I, 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 me, 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 take, 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 take. You got to be careful who you give to because takers don't know when to stop. Okay. I am tired. These people, are, they're ruining this generation. It's literally ruining the generation. Mm -hmm. And then little girls are glamorizing. I mean, they got sexy red as a role model, girl. Ugh. These women are for the streets nowadays. They want to argue, be combative. They seem to know everything is their biggest problem. Far as like what they bring to the table, a lot of guys can do a lot of things that a woman can do for themselves now. I wish I would have bought it you. You the reason I can't keep a man right now. You're the reason they always leave. Hello. I haven't heard from you. You don't even call to check up on your mama or nothing. Mama, what you want? The doctor told me that I had cancer and I only have six months or less to live. I pray for you. You're my only son and you treat me so bad. You're going to pay for that, Jay. I promise you. Seems like you the one paying now. I mean, you are the same woman that told your only son that you wished he was dead. And you always put every man before me. Let me starve while you could stake. For all these men, mama, you never loved me. You never even cared about me. So you better be lucky that I'm praying for you. Cause you don't deserve shit. Honor thy mother. You going to hell, Jay. 
I see him. Believe it or not, a lot of men go through this when they're younger. When they get older, they don't want to be around their mom like that because of what happens in their childhood. Type. Tall, dark, and handsome, but height doesn't really matter to me, to be honest. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And I need someone to put me in my place because I have a little bit of an attitude problem. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Dark, tall, and handsome. But height doesn't really matter. What if, you know, there's a white boy who was six foot? Are you still going for him? The only exception for white boys is if they have blue eyes, brown hair, and have a little something something in them. Something or, ching, ching Yeah, some little spice, or they out the door. No, oh, she gotta keep it moving. Respectfully so. I respect your opinion. Stop it. Get some help. Y'all ever notice all the white girls in these type of interviews that say they want black dudes are never with a black dude, but it's always been interviewed by a black dude. Why? Because they're scared. They think they look cool saying it. You don't gotta be so feisty. I mean, I'm not being feisty. I'm just matching your energy. Oh, for real? What you mean, oh, for real? You can match my energy right now. Like what? I feel like I'm a collector. Yeah, but you obviously wasn't trying to me though, right? You're a stranger. All right, I still am, so why are you on my car? Then? But not my friend. I don't know you. Let me introduce myself. I'm Ari. What's your name? London. That's hot. Can I, I could be your friend. That was corny. That's corny. So what you, what you, what's your intentions? I just want to like hang out, have a good time, see what you're about, get to know each other. All right, so tell me about you. I'm a content creator. I'm what 24. What content you make? I do events. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. me. For real? Oh, man. Don't show me no whip, no trash. I don't think it's trash. This is my Twitter. You ain't playing out here, I see, huh? Mm -hmm. That's what I want to see. Oh, yeah, my back shots? I'm super thick. I see. Definitely thick. I'm a good time. Definitely. Yeah. That's what you trying to do then? We can get to know each other and have a relationship. Or, you know, we can make it transactional and a get it over with. What do you mean transactional? You know. I don't know. We spend some money, we can have a good time. No, I don't pay to play. Oh. Man. What you mean, man, man, what? Same man. I'm saying, why, why would I pay? Mm -hmm. You said. Sometimes. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going for that. I don't be with shit like that. <laughs> serious. I'm serious, too. Nah, you're not. You're talking about transaction. I'm not going for that. Aww. You want some kids right now. You're acting like a kid. No, nah, I'm grown. I'm talking about all. Oh. What am I supposed to say? I'm just saying, though, like, I'm not one of them dudes that, like, be paying for it. Then what are you? I'm a stand on business. I stand on morals. I'm not no tr dude. I know there's plenty of dudes out here on that, but I'm not on that. But I'm one of dudes who's gonna take care of me. Well, look, you might need to go find that shit from another Because that ain't gonna happen with me. You think so? I promise you it ain't. Oh, damn. Get some shit anywhere. True. Exactly. So why the f would I pay for it if I've been getting it free my whole life? Well, that was like one of the options. One of the other options we get to know each other. I don't. I don't want to get to know you now because now I know you want something. Plus, I can get that at home. I'm married anyway. You're married? Are y'all like swingers or something? Nah, married. Oh, it's kind of fun. But I just do my on the side. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. You cool with that? Yeah. That's where the transaction comes in, little hush. Nah, I, ain't with that. I ain't doing. That. That's so boring. How was that boring though? I'm not. I'm not about to be spending money on you. That's like me saying put this. I'm off right now then. That's a lot. But I mean like you got a Lamborghini or whatever, so like you got money. Okay, well my Lamborghini gotta do anything. I worked hard for you. You work hard for me? I'm not working hard for you. You too easy. Mm. You way too easy. I, you got a price tag on you. That's too easy for me. Is it? Yeah, because anytime I want I do is just uh, pay it. You wanna work for it? I could like run down the block and you could chase me. Come on, man. You want some kids again. Have a little fun. I'm cool, I'm not I'm not I'm not paying for I'm good. Okay. So if that's what you're looking for, you can get out. Okay. That's what you're looking for? Yeah. How about that? You'll go. I'm always looking for tricks, man. Bush, have a good time in Miami. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Definitely share the video. If this was your first time watching, hit that subscribe button. We post every day. Unless I'm on vacation, see you on the next video.